inside another dimension, face battling barbarians and evil magic on a quest for adventure in a maze of monsters. Once you get into it, you'll never be the same. Hero Quest. Now with two new adventure packs, the legend grows. Hi, welcome back to Not Your Mother's Hobbies. Today we got our second hero from Hero Quest Core, and it is the dwarf. Look at that burly fellow. So cool looking. I really like this updated sculpt. Super cool. Uh, I'm a fan of the old chunky elder one, but this one's way more dynamic. So let's do it. Okay, so first things first, we're doing some purple. And I don't have a purple contrast paint. You might not have a purple contrast paint. You might not even have the paints I'm using. But this is going to show you that you can just use whatever you got. I like contrast. I love using contrast because it saves some steps. But pff, I don't got it. I don't use it. So I don't have a purple. So in this case, I'm using a dark purple. I'm going to do two thin coats. You heard it right. Our old Master Duncan, Jedi Master, knows exactly what's going on. Two thin coats of our purple here. We're using uh, War Colors Violet 4. So I guess it's violet. But we're going to do the back panel of his armor, which you could do metal. I chose to do it like a leather plate. I wanted more color to the guy. So I did some uh, two thin coats on the back in the little crevices along the trim here that I'm putting this Drushi Violet on and the booties. Uh, then we put Drushi Violet on top of that to just give it an added depth as if we were using contrast. Whoa. Uh, so do that all around. And you can see I'm not really being too clean. What we're gonna show you in this video is one, if you don't got the paints, that's okay. And two, you can be messy. We're gonna be super messy on this miniature. Gullum and Flesh we're using on all of the gold stuff. This guy's got a lot of gold. Uh, so we're doing that. We're doing our normal metallic blocking. So Gullum and Flesh for all the gold. So that's all the armor bits, like his shoulder pads. He's got a bunch of jewelry things. He's got a belt. Uh, just check out the artwork. And if it doesn't show it in the artwork, best guess, it's going to look cool anyway. You're going to get it done. Here on the back, you can really see that on that trim, uh, it's really purple, right? Or really violet. But I'm not going in there with the Gullum and Flesh, right? I'm not going in there. It's already covered in purple and stuff. It's because we're going to be messy. It's because I'm going to show you it doesn't really freaking matter. <laughs> uh, here we're going to do our uh, steel silver metallic base using Basilicanum. Business as usual. Um, this guy has, I guess, a lot of metal on him, and there's a lot to cover. Uh, there's not so much of this steel stuff, but there's just a lot of big things that require it. So we're going to do his little armor pieces and his, his big axe head, uh, as well as, don't forget, he's got some little like beard jewelry and stuff, and I chose to do it um, silver. You could do it gold. It probably would be better to do it gold, because it'll pop more against his black beard. Uh, I'm a dummy. Should have done that. Skeleton horde on these ropes, because we're just going to make them ropey. Snake bite leather on this little dagger thing that he's got going on. Um, again, that's gold in the artwork. Why didn't you do it gold? I'll show you why, because we're doing it messy style. Black Templar on the hair. Quick and dirty. Super simple. This guy is another one that looks complicated. There's a lot going on. But really, the color palette is so simple. Uh, lots of reused colors just spread out in a way that gives you lots of cool, fun details. It's not as hard as it, it looks at first glance. This is a pretty fun and cool miniature. You're going to get it. Here we go, getting that beard. Look at that. Boom, beardy done. Saigo Brown. We're doing some ethnic skin, baby. We're doing some dark skin. Uh, Saigon Brown is a brown that has a reddish tone to it, so I really like it for doing dark skin tones because you get that fleshy, you know, we got blood in us, right? So we get that real fleshy color. Now, you can do different tints of dark skin for variety, uh, and we might get a figure that I'll show you that later. But for this guy, we're going my tried and true Saigon Brown base. 
Here we go for that nice red undertone that it's got. Careful on that face, take your time. We were messy at the start, now be a little more cautious and detailed. All right, we're going back to that violet. We're going back to the war colors. The same thing as before. We're gonna do two thin coats. You can do one, and then your second coat is in a smaller area and really refine and blend. Uh, it's up to you. But general rule of thumb, and for this particular brand of paint, I'm doing two thin coats. Here we're going on that back panel too, and you can really see it. It's, it's lightening it up. And here's our second coat just to show you. Boom, look at that. Poppin'. Going in with Violet 2 now for our final highlight on all the purple. I guess the Violet. I'm going back and forth. Purple's not a color, is it? I don't know. But we're using Violet 2 here for that final highlight on all these sections. So the boot trimmies, uh, the little back panel. And you'll notice we didn't do any of this Violet on the trim around his skirt or all of, all of his gauntlets. And that's because that's dark areas. We wanna, we wanna fake it and make it. We're just gonna keep them in there as dark violet purple areas and get it over with. No need to get fancy here. It's all gonna work out and look good. Retributor armor for all of our golds. Business as usual, we're back to basics, baby. Now he does have some thin trim and it is scary. Very scary, especially if you're a new painter. That thin trim can be spooky business. Uh, so maybe tackle it last, you know, go back and forth from all the, the big chunky stuff, you know, get your confidence back, go in, stress out a bit, sweat a lot, then switch back to the easy stuff, vice versa. Um, but just take your time. You can make mistakes. It's just paint and paint over it. In fact, look at this. I'm freaking making mistakes. I'm, I'm painting outside the lines and not sweating it, all right? We'll fix it up in post. You'll see. Just take your time with that trim. Use the side of your brush if you need to and just gently scrape it over. That can be helpful. Sometimes the detail's not raised enough and you'll still make mistakes, but just give it a try. Take your time and switch back and forth if you need to. Here we go, gunmetal. This is for the chain mail on him and of course his, his weapon. Uh, you you could have done, I could have done, on his weapon, um, not metal. And in hindsight, I kind of wish I did the same thing I did for the Barbarian, you know, that cheap and easy non-metallic. I think that would have added a cool, like, difference in color, because he's just covered in metal. But hey, I did them all metallic this time. You could do them all metallic. It's up to you, but that's what we're doing with this gun metal. Don't forget these little decorations and these little bearded braid bits. Uh, here we go on his axe as well. Don't have to be too fancy. You can see I'm just scraping it by on here. I'm not hitting everything. It's going to add texture and look really cool. Here you go. This is what I mean. We, we mess up on that trim. Just go back in with your Violet 4 or whatever else you're using and just clean it up. And when you're done, right click flesh egg gloss. And you're going to see it's not going to matter if you're a little bit messy on those trim areas because we're going to slather it with this stuff right here. It's gonna settle in the recesses and dull down those mistakes of going outside the line. So just clean it up the best you can and then go do your Reichland flush shade all over this baby and it's gonna blend it all together. Don't you worry, don't sweat it. Let's go over all those gold areas with this. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And because we're using a violet undertone, this, this red shade that we're putting in isn't really going to take away from it right it's not going to turn it a different color it's still going to look majority violet and it'll blend in and give off violet cool trick here we go with our null oil gloss for all the steel metallics boom 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 look how fast that is quick and dirty you can do it Now we're going back in here with our metallics just to clean up a bit if there's any pooling. So you can see I'm, I'm putting here some Retributor armor just to clean up, touch up some areas that might have got some extra pooling or whatever, you know. 
we want to make these surfaces uh, look a little flatter, like on the, the belt here. These, we don't want to have uh, weird little blotches and pockets and whatever. So chrome, we're highlighting, baby. We're almost done. Look how fast we are. All right, so here I'm doing some stripey, swipey slashes to give it some texture. It looks notched and, you know, beat up, but also sharp. You know, it's, it's viciously sharp, eh? So then we're going in here and adding our usual little pings and pops all over the place. Being sure to hit the rings and the little balls on his, or I guess gemstones on his axe. Uh, the rings have stones and the axe has stones. You'll see what we do with that later. But make sure you hit those while you're doing your little ping pop chromey doodly dops. Alright, now we're back here with some wraith bone. And uh, just, just cleaning up that rope, right? We're not going over it, we're just dotting in. Bop, 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 bop. Dollar store white. One more time. Bop, 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 bop. That rope is going to look textured as hell. Look at that. All right, dryad bark. This is what we're going to use on our skin to, just like we did with the golds, we're cleaning up here, right? If there's any pooly parts, he's got big, chonky muscles. You don't want them big, large, bulbous muscles to have uneven coat. So use your dryad bark to pick out any spots and just even up those mounds. Coming in with Blood Reaver Flesh for our first highlight. Coming in here, and if you remember the Barbarian, this guy's got some chunky, bulby, bubbly muscles. Great for highlighting, great for practice. Now there's not a lot of little patches of, of skin. He's not as uncovered and naked. But uh, he's got some dwarven hugeness to him, so <laughs> you'll get a lot of nice practice on these muscles. And then go into the face and take your time. He's got a tiny little face in there. Don't forget his lip. Boom, boom, boom. That's your first highlight done. And then here we go, Night Quester Flesh. This is our final highlight. You can do one coat, you can do two coats to, to, to really refine it and define those highlights. I think I did two coats in some areas just to give some extra uh, highlight action in there. Now we're not gonna do this, but you could if you wanted to do an extra highlight, grab just one brighter uh, flesh shade and pop them in there like we do with the Pilot Witch uh, on our, our more paler guys. But I don't like, you know, I didn't feel I needed it. I thought it looked really good with just this Night Quester, really popping, and so I just left it at that. Whatever you're comfortable with. This is what I wanted, I thought it was banging. Don't forget his little ear, bing bang boom. So you want to take this guy to the bar, you want to take him up a notch, we're going to put whatever colors you want for these jemmies. He's got six rings and he's got three little jemmies in his axe mix it up do whatever you want and then we're going to come in here with our dollar store white and just drop in some dots make it like these are super shiny and that's it that's all you got to do we're going to use that same dollar store white to just give a little bit of a dry brush you don't need to cover every piece of hair just go for like the most toppy top parts i do get in there a little bit on that side, but I don't sweat it. We come back in with Null Noil, and we dull it all down a little bit, and you're gonna get some cool, contrasty highlight bits, because we're, we're bringing it up, we're bringing it down. It's gonna look cool. It'll look like just shiny black hair. Boom, 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 look at that. And then we base them like usual. You want to see the whole basing scheme? Check out some older videos. But we just slop on that paint, the texture paint, dry brush, shade, dry brush again, bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle, Dunsky. You know the drill. And that's it. Here we go. We got our dwarf. Look at that. That purple, violet, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that color 
really pops on him. I really like it. I think it adds a nice, nice pop of color on him. Uh, it just breaks through all of that uh, metallic. The skin color too, I think this is one of my best uh, dark skin tones I've ever done. Even on my Frostgrave guys, I think this is awesome. And here we go, we have the female variant, the exact same steps. Sure, she's got a little bit different armor, but you can totally see the exact same steps are in there and she looks great. Awesome, probably one of my favorite female sculpts in this set. So if you got her, I think you're lucky. They are side by side, check them out. And that's it, that's the dwarf, man. So next up, we've got two more core guys. Who do you think they're gonna be? Who are you excited for? Uh, let me know how you're painting your dwarf. I've seen some people do them like Nordic ones. I've seen some people just do crazy colors on them. It was really fun to check these guys out uh, and see what other people are doing. Dwarf, one of the most slept on classes in Hero Quest. Probably my favorite reimagining in the whole new edition of Hero Quest. But with that, if you enjoyed what you saw, give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.